Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to upgrade this decade old laptop with new processor and new RAM memory and with a fresh copy of Windows 7. So we already done hardware assembly. You will see the way to assemble hardware and reinstall uh, half used hardware and you will see it how it's working now with a new faster processor the highest one that that this motherboard can't handle and it started the windows we are going to show you how it's working with windows 7 windows 7 sorry and Chrome to show you basic needs of common users of course YouTube videos just a moment and mm, let's start YouTube You can see it's, it's working significantly better than the on the last process with the last processor, the old one. We have some glitches in the videos. And that is with YouTube and internet. And we have achieved what we wanted to just upgrade this old laptop for a common use. You can use it for surfing the web, watching some movies, not for playing some games because it doesn't have a graphic card, it just has. And we can carry on with the hardware. Disassemble and assemble new ones. CPU on. or processor on this decade old Fujitsu Siemens uh, S Primo Mobile V5535. V5 so we must remove this plastic cover. You have four screws to unscrew. And when you do that, place them in some bag or some secure, some secure place because I already lost one. I only have three, you have four to replace and you have an opening here. Just gently remove the plastic, not to break it. So you have a CPU cover and the fan, you must remove the fan first. And we have a large dust blanket formed on the exhaust so next we will proceed with unscrewing the cooler you have numbers one four three and two and this that is the order that you need to unscrew and again when you to return them in the same order <laughs> you just I forgot to take off a battery but I didn't do anything wrong I hope
so I need to use a different screwdriver to carry on with the procedure. This one has magnetics. And this computer was laptop was working just a few minutes ago because I wanted to uh, the thermal compound to be hot that we can just remove the cover the heat spreader and we need to just gently do this not to tear apart to rip out the processor the old one and we succeeded with removing the heat exhaust just gently put it out because you see the thermal compound was sealed in on the processor so we must clean this heat spreader and we'll just disassemble the, the lock so you can see there is a locking mechanism and you need a screwdriver to unlock it just like this you see this is in the lock position this is the unlocked position. And just gently pulled out the processor. And, and we have a stronger one, the strongest processor that this motherboard can handle is the T17300. And the old one is Intercelleron. This was Intel uh, Dual Intel Core at whatever, it's stronger processor. And we are going to put it in place. See it there the same class processors. And lock it in place. Next we will proceed with removing the thermal compound and replacing with our new thermal tape. Clean up our heat sink and we are going to apply a thermal compound, new thermal compound and you can see on this video I hope that there are markings on the heat sink where to apply a thermal compound.
now we are going to put it back now a laptop To return, <coughs> return the screws back following the numbers on the heat spreader. We are not the first in first one is back. So anyway. next to the to the second one place not tight them and to the maximum just place them first with a little spring and you will do that when you fixed this and now we are going to tight them all following the numbers we must follow the numbers And the next we are putting the fan back to his place. Reconnect mm. uh, the power jack. And now moment of truth. It's working! Yeah! We must install the new Windows. This is the XP. So I already shown how to disassemble the processor heat sink and the fan because we already replaced it and now we are replacing the RAM modules that are located over here they are easy to disassemble because you have two place to just press this and the, on the other side and this and she will pop out from it and same with the larger models the same number they are on the same frequency and we are placing them back
and that's it. Easy to disassemble and assemble. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you find it useful. If you like our videos, like us and subscribe us for more of this kind of videos. If you want to see some other upgrades on this decade old laptop, write us in the comment and see you soon.